Hi, good form fam, and welcome back to the family. Today, we will be doing a feature of the company Monat Skincare. They brought me in and did a few testing of their products on my face. So, I'm just featuring them as a courtesy. If you are interested, the details will be in my bio below. But this is how the products were applied. So the first product is this cleanser. I washed my face and then applied it and you'll see a video of how I do that. And then I just rub it in my face just like that. It's very smooth on the skin and yeah, I loved it. So next up is this revitalizing refresher which you just add to your face as well. It leaves your face feeling fresh. We have this hydrating booster which helps to keep your face hydrated especially during the winter time. You want to keep your face really hydrated because the weather is dry and cold. So yeah, very good for the dry weather. Next up we have Next up is this very versatile Rejuvenique Serum. You can use this in your hair, on your face, on scars to get rid of the scars. Oh my God. So I've seen reviews on this product and I absolutely love it. I will definitely be getting this for myself. Of course, it's good to add some SPF to the skin, even though we're black. Um, this helps with radiation, with the sun, you using your computer screen, your phone screen. Radiation comes in different form. So, of course, you want to make sure that you use this on your face um, as well. Preferably when you're out and about during the day. Um, yeah, so a very good product. And of course, lastly, is this mist that you just want to spray on your face, set everything in. Very good to apply after you use makeup as well. Absolutely love this product. hey you guys what's up welcome back to the official video so today i will actually be showing you guys how i do my bath so it's gonna be about self-care i'm going to be setting a bath with roses candles and everything and i'm so excited about it because this is i've always wanted to do this i mean i've been to spas and in tubs but i've never really done it in my own home and now that i have a tub a really nice big up a good size I'm going to be making myself a nice bath so that I can relax it's super cold outside um, and so yeah I feel a bit overwhelmed with a lot of things so I think this will be good for me so I'm going to be showing you guys how I do it so if you have a bath at home and you want to do it it's really not a lot of money to do it either. The stuff that I have, they're not, they're really the basic stuff that you need for the bathtub and you don't have to use the extra stuff. So yeah, okay, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you the basic stuff that you need um, for the tub. Well, so you're gonna need bubble bath soap and i wanted to use dr t is it dr t or mr t let me see <laughs> dr t so i have epsom salt but because i have this i was like i'm not gonna buy the soap i have this so i'm gonna use it i might put some of this in it because i've been working out and i'm sore so we'll see um so you're definitely gonna need this because how is it gonna be a bubble bath without bubble saving soap <laughs> Um, I bought these cherry bottom fizz balls, so you drop them and they actually help with the bubbles too. So yeah, I bought these um, for to set the ambiance. I bought these candles, so at these six come in each, and these smell so good, you guys. Um, these are eu eucalyptus citrus scents. And even without the candles being lit right now, I'm smelling it. It smells so good. I can't wait to light everything up. Um, it's a rose. I want it to be a rose bath. So I bought some pink roses. And I will be like picking the roses off. I couldn't get the loose one. So I just bought it. 
I think I paid like twenty dollars. So I, twenty dollars? Yeah. So I bought these and I am just gonna pick them up one by one. I started. I have some on the counter outside. So yeah. And because it's also self care, I bought this face mask that I will be putting on my face when I just relax. Uh, yeah, and I have my towel, which once I do the presentation and all, you will see how it comes out. <laughs> also, of course, it's a vibe, so I'm going to be having my wine and my wine glass. I also have my speaker for music. Hello. So, yeah, let's get right into it. I have a, ch I'm gonna make a, a, a mini cheese board too, but that's completely optional. I like those things. Cheese board with my wine and crackers, of course. <laughs> so that's optional, but um, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> So the water is warm and ready so I'm going to go in now with some of the soap or all of it <laughs> let me just screw this off and I'm just going to throw all of it in yeah all of it um, I'm also going to go in with some bath bomb which are these like I had told you guys I'm gonna go in with three or more I mean oh shoot guess what so the plastic is on these and I always forget to remove them so I have to take that out and remove the plastic I'll be right back <laughs> Yeah, so I took the plastic off, and as you can see, if the thing is coming off on my hand, so I'm just gonna throw it in. Okay, you guys, so I'm I start putting the flowers in, so I'm going to be like this. What I did, I just take the flowers off the stem, just like that, and then I'm going to just drop the flowers all over the bath. And you guys can use pink, you can use red, you can use whatever, you can do a mixture of both. Honestly, it's up to you. I'm also going to be putting some like on the sides, like here. You know, you really want it to look romantic. <laughs> romantic bath for one, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's looking so good already. Yeah. Y'all can hire me. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the progress. So now I'm going to place the towel here so that it's within reach when I'm ready to get out the tub. And I'm going to place the candles strategically around the tub. So this is what they look like. You really do not need anything big. I mean, it's up to you. So I'm just trying to get these ready. I don't want to break it. And then I'm just going to put one there. I'm going to put one here. So you guys, that is what it's looking like. I absolutely love it. You can see I put the wine glass with the wine over there with some water. I moved the towel to here. Um, this is the cheese board that I'm going to be eating from and actually I'm going to place it here instead of all the way closer to me. I'm going to put it there. So I'm not even sure if that's a good idea but I actually don't see where else it could go. I know we never gonna look back. this is the finished product that is it that is how you transform your bathtub into a mini spa a nice romantic floral bath for one for two 
you know it all depends oops let me get this and i am actually about to get in but yeah i will see you guys in the next clip bye